first of all, the ultimate purpose is to ensure that all the auditable bodies will be subject to our audit. In other words, we try our best to cover all the government departments and all the public bodies that we can audit. Uh, in deciding which one will be audited first, we have uh, several criteria or factors to decide. Uh, normally, we, ca we can name five factors. Uh, first is materiality. Second one is value add. Third one is uh, risks. Uh, and the fourth one is the public concern. The last one is timeliness. Then we will base on this factor to decide which one will be audited first and which one, which public bodies or department will be audited next. In normal case, we have a plan for five years and then we will select at, at, in the most case, we'll over 80 public bodies or departments in our scope and then we will score them based on these factors and then we will decide oh, this will be first and this will be next. Of course, because of something that we cannot foresee, for example, COVID-19, then we will defer some of the audited body and then we will select other bodies to replace it. And normally, when we have a plan to do a department, uh, we will select this department for audit. And then, at the same time, we will plan for the, another round of audit at the same time. That's our normal audit cycle. First one, ourselves, will make sure all the data and all the information are up to date. Uh, we have a database to ensure that all the information and data are based on evidence and based on updated information that we emphasize and stress on. And other one is sometimes we may be uh, uh, careless or we may misunderstand the auditor body. So we will have two rounds of consultation of the draft with the concerned departments. In other words, when we finish our audit, we will prepare our draft and then we will share the draft with the uh, concerned parties. All the concerned parties, we will share the relevant parts or the whole report to the bodies or departments. And then they can have the chance to see it, to read it and to comment it. And then after their comments, they will send their comment and feedback to us. We will consider their comment and feedback and then incorporate them into our another round of draft. And then we will update the draft and then send the draft to them to have another rounds of comment and consultation. After all the department has accepted that, we will finalize our draft. Of course, if they have comment, comments or feedback, we will also incorporate their final comment and feedback on that final draft as well. Uh, in the past, we have a very uh, excellent history and a foundation. We will base on it to develop our future plan. On one hand, uh, technically, we want to leverage on the leading position uh, of the China audit team because the uh, audit commission, audit department in China is very uh, good, very excellent now. Uh, they are expert in, not only expert, but in the leading position in big data audit and research-based audit. Uh, be honest, in Hong Kong, uh, our experience and expertise on these two areas are, are much more little and less. Uh, we will try our best to ensure more resources can be allocated in these two areas, i.e. the big data audit and the research-based audit. Uh, on the other hand, and on another side, from the uh, people, from the public's perspective, they must uh, want us to do something they really want us to do. So when there are people call for something, we want to respond. Uh, that's why we encourage our uh, colleagues to reach out, to step out to the public. And just like me, I like to walk around the uh, public areas and to look at this and look at that to experience what, what the people are doing, what the public is really interested in now. And then we can touch on
the community, we can touch on the public, and then to respond our uh, our action and make our uh, responsive uh, action as quick as possible.